Let's all share the good news with the Holy Family Daily Gospel Reflection Podcast with your host, Yvette Celeste. And I'm Haley. Hello and welcome. Welcome to the Holy Family Daily Gospel Reflection. My name is Yvette Celeste. And I'm Haley. And this is Haley. And we are going to share the gospel with you and your family. And why don't we get started with prayer? In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Glory to you, O Lord in the highest. Glory to you, O Lord. We give you thanksgiving and praise for you are our Lord. And as we rejoice in your holy, holy name, your holy exalted name, we sing praise to you with every name in heaven. For all names in heaven, praise your name, O Lord. Thank you in your hearing. We ask for the Holy Spirit to lift us in our hearts and in our minds, in our conversations, in our actions, in opening the gospel, sharing the gospel, lifting us all in your mighty holy presence. And we ask for you, O Lord, in our hearts. Eternal Father, we ask that you lift us in the Holy Spirit, in the sanctifying grace of your Son, Jesus Christ, in your mercy that endures forever that we praise, and in your goodness which is everlasting that we rejoice in. We give thanks to you in your hearing. As it is written, how much more will God give when we ask for the Holy Spirit? Jesus, we trust in you. And we invite the Lord in our hearts. Haley, do you have any special intentions for the sacred heart of the Lord? You and my dad and children and my mom. Oh, beautiful. And your mom? Yeah. Very good. Okay. Well, Mother's Day is coming up. What a wonderful time to ask the Lord for blessings for every mom. And for the families who have a mom in heaven, we ask for the Holy Spirit to guide every heart in his comfort for them all. And as we pray over our own moms, whether they're with us or with heaven, all names in heaven, praise the Lord. And we get to do so with every name in heaven as we all praise the Lord in every mass and in every moment that we lift our hearts to the Lord. We are lifting our hearts to the Lord with every angel and archangel led by St. Michael the archangel. We are lifting our hearts in great love, in great adoration, and in great praise of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. And we sing praise to him with every name in heaven. And as we lift all moms into the sacred heart of the Lord, we place, of course, our family members. Every family, because all families belong to the Lord. Every family that belongs to the Lord, that's everyone. And as we place all families into the sacred heart of the Lord, we also place all children as a very special intention. Thank you, Haley, for placing all children into the sacred heart of the Lord. And we place every mom, dad, and child, especially in Ukraine and Russia, especially for those who are needing healing and for those that are displaced because of war, for those that have a loved one in heaven, and for all in the world. We ask as a very special intention for conversion, for a change of heart, for metanoia, and for your holy, holy graces, your mercy, and your never-ending mercy, the infinite merits of the sacred heart of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the immaculate heart of Mary. We ask for your Holy Spirit, Lord, to guide every heart to you in conversion, in metanoia, in a change of heart. We ask for your Holy Spirit, Lord, to guide every area of war, conflict, into or even strife into peaceful communication. And we ask, dear Lord, for your mercy here, especially in Russia, and for conversion of Putin. We ask for you, O Lord, to 
set us ablaze in your fire, in the fire of the Holy Spirit. And this we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. And as a very special intention, we ask for the Holy Family's prayers over us all. Mother Mary, pray for us. St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, pray for us. And Holy Guardian of the Church, pray for us. We ask for the prayers of the saints and the holy men and women who pray over us all, every one of us in every area of the world, and we thank them for their prayers. We ask for your holy angels and archangels, O Lord, to pray over us and end a very special holy angel embrace. We ask for your angels and archangels, led by St. Michael the Archangel, to be with us and who love us. And we thank you, O Lord, in your hearing for sending your angels and archangels to be with us, to guide us in every conversation, to lift us in every conversation, and really fill our homes and guide every hand to the Lord for every family member. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen and hallelujah. Haley is going to read from... The USCCB website, today's gospel reflection for May 4th, 2022, comes to us from the Gospel of John, chapter 6, verses 35 through 40. Jesus said to the crowds, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger, and whoever believes in me will never thirst. But I told you that although you have seen me, you do not believe. Everything that the Father gives me will come to me, and I will not reject anyone who comes to me. Because I came down from heaven and not do my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. And this is the will of the one who sent me, that I should not lose anything of what he gave me, but that I should raise it on the last day. For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him may have eternal life. And I shall raise him on the last day. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Haley, for reading that. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay, so as we get started, we turn the word into prayer and praise. And as we do so, it's a little like Lexio Divina. As we turn the word into prayer and praise, we ask for the Holy Spirit to guide our prayer, to guide our every word, and to use us to glorify the name of the Lord. Glory to you, O God in the highest. Glory to you, O Lord. We give you thanksgiving and praise for you have come for us all. And we praise your holy, holy name, O Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you have the words of eternal life, as was spoken by St. Peter in the Bread of Life discourse, Where else shall we go? This is the word of the Lord that you have given to us, your very word, the word of the heavenly father, the incarnate word who is you. And we praise your holy, holy name, your holy living word, for you have come for us all. And as you have come for us all, we ask for you, O Lord, in every area of our heart, our relationships, our everyday life. We ask for you, O Lord, in every area of the world. We ask for your love to pour through us all, your holy living water to pour through us all. And we ask for your fruits, your gifts, your holy charisms, your virtues that can only come from the Holy Spirit as all are given gifts to serve. We ask to use us all, O Lord. Here we are. Here I am, Lord. Use us for your glory. And this we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. And hallelujah. Jesus is with us and he will never leave us. And Jesus himself who says, I am the bread of life. Jesus is the bread of life. This is the Eucharist, and this is the bread that came down from heaven. We receive Jesus 
as we partake in the Eucharist. And this is what he has given for us all to partake in. The bread of life discourse is the word of the Lord as Jesus came for us all. He offered his own body and blood on the cross. He offered himself, covenanted himself in the new and everlasting covenant for all to partake in. And there is a daily miracle that occurs in every Catholic Mass for the Lord is present in the Eucharist. For the Lord himself is is the Eucharist. He is who we consume. It is his body we consume. It is his blood we consume in the Eucharist. And we give him ourselves in the holiest matrimony there is. Jesus gives us himself. We give him ourselves. And we are the mystical body of Christ. We are His, we belong to him. And as it is written, Jesus came for all of us. For God so loved the world that he gave us his only begotten son so that everyone who believes in him might not perish but might have eternal life. Jesus came for everyone. And as it is written, Everything that the Father gives me will come to me, and I will not reject anyone who comes to me, because I came down from heaven, not to do my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. And Jesus continues, and this is the will of the one who sent me, that I should not lose anything of what he gave me, but that I should raise it on the last day. And this is the will of my Father, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in Him may have eternal life, and I shall raise Him on the last day. Jesus continues in the Bread of Life discourse that we are covering this week. I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate manna in the desert, but they died. This is the bread that comes down from heaven so that one may eat it and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. Jesus gives us his own body and his own blood. And the bread of life discourse is a precursor to the Eucharist. The Eucharist is a precursor to our eternal wedding banquet with God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Although the manna that came down from heaven, given by by God himself, and could only be given by God himself to the Israelites, as he led them from a state of slavery to the Egyptians into the eternal promised land, So also does Jesus fulfill this in giving us himself. Jesus gives us himself to partake in. And unlike the manna, all who ate it still died. And that is also written in the Bread of Life discourse. Unlike your ancestors who ate and still died, whoever eats this bread will live forever. Jesus came for all to partake in him. Jesus came for all to receive the grace of the heavenly father, the eternal grace that fills us and gives life to our bodies, the everlasting covenant that was shed for us and for all is the blood of the Savior, is the blood of the holy begotten Son of God, who came for us, laid his life down, and is risen. We partake in the resurrected body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ in every Catholic Mass. And that is what makes Catholic Mass so incredible that It is the Lord's Mass, and Jesus gives us his Holy Spirit. He gives us himself in the Eucharist. The Holy Spirit comes down and transubstantiates in every Catholic Mass the host into the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ through the power of the Holy Spirit in the hands of the ordained priest. 
This is not available in any other service. It is simply not there. Jesus' body and blood is not available in any service. It is not something that I can give on the streets. It is not something that I can give in meditation. It is not something that I can give, but only the Lord can give. And the Lord does give to all who answer his call. The glorious call of the Lord is here in the Bread of Life Discourse and in the institution of the Eucharist. Take this, eat this, this is my body which will be given up for you. Drink this, this is my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which will be shed for you and for all. Do this in memory of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven and is transubstantiated in every Catholic Mass, a grace that is beyond measure, the Holy Eucharist, the Eucharistic celebration. Now, if you haven't partaken in the Eucharist, in the Eucharistic celebration in every Catholic Mass, first of all, come to Mass. You're invited, come to Mass. And while you're there, inquire or call your local Catholic parish. Inquire of the sacramental prep classes that are available for everyone, for you and your family. The RCIA classes are for adults and the sacramental prep classes are for children. All can partake in the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus gives us himself at the altar. He waits for us at the altar. And at the altar, we receive the bridegroom. We are the bride. He is the bridegroom in the holiest matrimony there is available. Jesus gives us his body to partake in. That is the Lord. Jesus is the Eucharistic celebration, and we partake in the holiest of all matrimony. There is no more intimate way to receive the Lord than to partake in his body and blood, for we receive in our own bodies the gift of eternal life that can only be given by God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, and no one that comes to seek the Lord by taking these sacramental prep classes will be denied. Jesus gives us himself. Now, in order to partake in the body and blood of our Lord, of course, we have to remain in a state of grace. And that is why reconciliation is so very important when we are absolved of every sin. We receive the divine mercy of the Lord in reconciliation. In baptism, we receive the sanctifying grace of the Holy Spirit. The very first installment of the Holy Spirit is His grace, His sanctifying grace, as we are grafted in to the mystical body of our Lord. We are grafted into the most high presence of our Lord in the Holy Spirit. We are baptized priest, prophet, and king. And in the Trinitarian formula that can also be found in the Catholic Church, as well as confirmation, confirmation, we receive yet another installment of the Holy Spirit. The fire of the Holy Spirit is given to us in baptism and an anointing, a seal of the Holy Spirit that only God can place upon us. And you are called is given to us all in confirmation. What a gift the sacraments are. They are graces from God to be able to walk in a state of grace, to be able to walk in a state of holy communion with the Lord. And this is the bread that came down from heaven for us to partake in him. All we have to do is call our local Catholic parish, inquire, sign up, register for the sacramental prep classes for RCIA for adults and the sacramental prep classes for children. All are invited. You are invited. 
your family is invited, and it is the Lord who is calling. So if we already partake in the Eucharistic celebration, if we've already received our sacraments, and we share the gospel, we go to Mass regularly, let's pray for those who may not understand yet how wonderful it is to receive the Lord in the Eucharist. Let's ask the Lord for the grace for all receive the grace and mercy of the Lord to be able to partake in the sacramental, in the Eucharistic celebration, for all to say yes to the Lord in the glorious call of the Lord, and for all to turn to the Lord in conversion. For only through the Lord can this be done. God, Jesus, came for everyone. God loves us so very much that he gives us his holy begotten son. He gives us his holy mighty spirit who are one, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. And Jesus, we trust in you. In Jesus' name, amen. And may God bless you. Haley, do you have a Bible verse that you would like to share with everyone? My peace be with you. Oh, beautiful. Okay, my peace be with you. Not as the world gives, do I give it to you. Peace be with you is the word of the Lord. And Jesus gives us his graces to be able to remain in him. Jesus, we trust in you. In Jesus' name, amen. May God bless you. May the Lord's peace be with you and all that you love. May the Lord bless us and keep us. May his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. May he look kindly upon us and grant us all his peace. Lord, grant us all your rest. In Jesus' name, amen. Bye, families. Bye. May God bless you. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, 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 b